One of the great new enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2017 is getting aid when you have a failed shell command on a solid body. Uh, I ran into this just the other day with this particular model. When I ran the shell command and put in my value, I put in the wrong value. So I wanted to put in 0 0.005, but I put in 0 0.05. And so when I choose also the face to remove being this bottom face and accept it, I get a pop-up menu. Now, this is information that we talk about when we get into things like the service modeling class, talk about minimum rates of curvature and how that can affect um, geometry offsets. The shell command is basically a glorified offset surface command, uh, which takes all the surfaces in the solid body you're shelling, offsets them one direction or the other, the wall thickness as your, uh, your definition of offset, and then stitches the solid together with any new faces or modified that need to be, ne need to be made. Um, when you have spline surfaces, and you have spline surfaces that spe specifically become what are called degenerate surfaces, um, those don't want to offset because of the math involved. And uh, more information for that, we can you know see me in a, a surface modeling class or maybe uh, at our E3D conferences that we do or online. But uh, regardless, this is a pretty typical problem. And when this comes up in tech support, we'll often take a look at uh, the minimum rate of curvature using the tools check command, as it says here. Um, now, I could OK this, and the next steps that come up, well, there's a call out next to our property manager that talks again about potential problems with this particular shell, and there's a handy troubleshooting tips link, which goes right to the SolidWorks help, talks about, again, potential shell errors, including the minimum radius of curvature ex, uh, being exceeded um, when you talk about the shell thickness, and then some other potential issues, three-sided surfaces, degenerate surfaces that are spline-based, um, talk about potential solutions here and so forth as well. So that gives you right to the help directly on the topic at hand. Um, I'm going to close this and then take a look at the Eric Diagnostics box, which also pops up here. And one of the things that we do... Uh, if you want to get a visual on why a surface won't shell or why a body won't shell, if you run the offset surface command, uh, here you have it right in the property manager. So I can go to the offset surface command right from here. It's offsetting all the surfaces. I'm going to put in the value that I had tried, which is the typo of 0.05. And you can see that based on the showing of that offset surface, the preview, this is not going to be valid geometry for our solid body. What I should have done was do a 0.005. That's the actual value I want. And then I can see that that nests nicely and is the proper distance. What I can do at this point is actually keep the offset surface if I wanted to. I don't. I just want to show it as proof of concept of why the shell is failing. And then I can come back and run the shell command again, put in the correct value, which is 0.005 and remove this face, and everything works fine. Um, but getting the information for why a shell is failing, not just saying it doesn't work, but actually pointing you to resources to sort of troubleshoot to understand some of the geometry involved, and directly able to give you a, an offset surface without having to run to the surfacing command if you're not familiar with them, um, that can be a really powerful visual to help understand why the shell is failing in a given situation. And I think it's one of those small enhancements. It's not a whiz-bang, brand-new type of feature, but it's an example of a great enhancement in the usability of what can be sometimes a somewhat mysterious command, this shell.